right now on Secrets of Bluegrass Chefs. An old building offers a new concept for downtown Lexington. Downtown New York style market. The shelves are stocked and the deli is downright delicious. Oh, look at that. It's Shorty's, the urban market for paninis. I love the crunch of that bread, this is wonderful. Catering, there's the sauce hollandaise. Perfect. And shrimp etouffee, straight out of New Orleans. This is definitely a taste of New Orleans right here in the bluegrass. And you can make it all at home when you have the secret. We're taking you behind the scenes inside the kitchen at Shorty's, the urban market, right now on Secrets of Bluegrass Chefs. with more secrets of bluegrass chefs. This time we're downtown Lexington at Shorty's, the urban market where you can shop or even stay for lunch. It's a restaurant and everything you'd want in a grocery store. The only difference is this one is right in the middle of the city. We decided to do something downtown for the self-sustainability of downtown, for people who live downtown. Um, you know, so this way people would not have to essentially have to get in a car and leave the city to go and do their grocery shopping. You'll find everything that the big grocery stores stock and a lot more because they have some specialty items that those guys don't carry. The uh, curry chicken salad is very famous, very popular. Crispy fish, grilled chicken, you got grilled asparagus, pancetta, uh, Brussels sprouts over there, and even steak and chicken kebabs. We make every bit of it in-house. Um, everything's from scratch, you know, it's all with our own recipes, and we have new things every day, too. You can eat inside or get a table right here on the sidewalk. Another interesting thing about Shorty's is the building in which it sits. This building has been around forever, but back in the day, it was a bank, and the vault is still being used today. The building was built in the early 1920s. Um, it was the original central bank building. The vault stayed because it was too big to get out. We'd have to take the whole building apart. It's really something to see, and there's always a good reason to stop by. You can drop in for a casual lunch or have shorties cater your special event. We do a lot of catering. You can get anything from box lunches to Chateau Briand, and it's all made from scratch by a top chef who's cooked in New York, Napa Valley, and even New Orleans. I right. do it all here. I mean, shop here. Let's see. I can eat in here or eat outside. Right. Take it to go, uh, or just have you guys cater my entire party. That's correct. Awesome. I love that. Jonathan Henderson is the executive chef at Shorty's, and as mentioned, he brings a lot of experience to the kitchen. I've been cooking ever since I was tall enough to reach up to the stove and and start. He's learned a lot of secrets along his travels, and since this is Secrets of Bluegrass Chefs. He's sharing his best with us. The shrimp etouffee that we're going to do, that's one of the dishes that I'm bringing back from Louisiana. It's a favorite down here. What we want to do is we want to get this pan nice and hot. So first we're going to add a little bit of oil. We're going to go in a little bit of shallot. So here's the base, a little shallot, and of course the garlic. you got to have that to go along with the shallot. Correct. We're going to saute that just a little bit here. And in go the shrimp. In goes the shrimp. Those are golf prawns. Okay. They're uh, $13.15, and we actually have these in the house for purchase. Got a little shrimp stock here. That goes in. That'll keep the flavor going. Right. And then we'll, we'll, we'll kind of let them cook just a little bit, and then we're going to add the sauce to it, and then we're going to mount it with butter to finish the dish. As the shrimp continue cooking, the chef seasons them with Cajun spice, which you can get, too, right here at Shorty's. If you have a correct spice, you know, you can cross-utilize it for just about anything. Now you call this the etouffee base, Correct. Right? which is? is basically mirepoix and shrimp stock. It's made from the shells of the actual shrimp. Six, seven herbs, there's a coriander in there, there's cumin in there, there's brown mustard seed, whole leaf, uh, thyme, there's garlic, shallots, parsley, and a little Cajun seasoning, of course. And the real secret to the etouffee is the dark brown Louisiana roux that's also in the base. And I actually have that here. The brown roux takes roughly about two hours to make. Uh, 
very low, very slow. It's basically half fat, half flour. And what we do here is we actually use a vegetable oil blend because the butter will burn. Most roux people see are blonde roux. Right. You know, but this actually gives a whole different element of flavor. And you can see it's almost like chocolate. So I'm finishing the sauce with a little melted butter. It's gonna add a sheen to it, another element of flavor. And we're gonna top it with a little chopped parsley. A nice finisher. And make sure that incorporates really nice. You want the butter to actually, a very cold butter, to emulsify into the sauce and actually bring down the temperature of it because it will break. Butter has a tendency to break on you. And just that easy, it's ready to go onto the plate on top of a Shorty's house-made biscuit. It's gonna soak up some of that etouffee. I'm just gonna do a little bit over the shrimp here. Oh, does that look incredible. A little more sauce on the shrimp. Oh, gosh. And then to help soak it up further, yeah, the last element to it. A little biscuit on top, yes, so uh, that's quite a sandwich. And it's just that easy. It's just that easy. Very simple. If you have all the right sauces, ingredients, and everything else, they, they right. <laughs> you, you can and do What's even better all. than that is we carry everything here. I'll tell you what, I want to get a good piece of this. Definitely get a lot of that sauce. Oh, wow. I'll tell you what, this is definitely a taste of New Orleans right here in the bluegrass. For more information on Shorty's, The Urban Market, or any other featured restaurants on Secrets of Bluegrass Chefs, log on to newlocaltv.com. And for more secrets, stay tuned. Next, we'll head to the deli at Shorty's for the secrets to a triple crown of perfect paninis. A beef eater's favorite. Oh, look at that. A spicy delight. That is one fine sandwich. And a vegetarian version that'll blow your mind. What a great way to get your veggies in. And later, we're making Chateaubriand and learning the secrets to making hollandaise sauce at home. Secrets of Bluegrass Chefs returns to downtown Lexington right after this. Tim Laird back with you with more Secrets of Bluegrass Chefs. This time in Lexington at Shorty's, the urban market on Short Street. One thing that makes Shorty's unique is that it's a market, but it's also right downtown. You get your local basics, uh, you know, milk, eggs, bread, um, any kind of uh, health and beauty type of um, products. You'll find plenty of organic items and everything is fresh. You'll find all the household staples, juices, cereals, a wide selection of beverages, even household goods. Sauces, marinades, condiments, they have it all. The whole idea was to be able to have enough product in here, but also that the turnover of the product was rapid, so you always continuously have fresh items in stock all the time. Nothing sits on the shelf. All right, when you shop here at Shorty's, you can't leave without taking something home from the deli. They have salads, soups, sandwiches, and some of my favorites, the panini. Everything we have in house is made by hand, you know, as far as our deli is concerned. So when you get a roast beef panini, this is what's inside. Oh, look at that. Now that's going to make a lot of sandwiches. And it gets even better with bread made fresh daily right across the street and a horseradish cream spread. Add to that horseradish cheddar cheese, that juicy roast beef, caramelized mushrooms, and caramelized onions. So we got this all built. We're going to put the two pieces of bread together and take it over to our panini machine. Wow, look at that. I'm telling you what, that's the, that's the ticket. And the vegetarian panini is just as amazing. That one has house-made hummus, mozzarella cheese, roasted red peppers, portobello mushrooms, caramelized onions, zucchini, and fresh spinach. Topping it off right now? Oh right. yeah. Now to the panini machine. Here we go. I love the crunch of that bread, just wonderful. What a great way to get your veggies in. The paninis are all stacked with flavor and full of love. 
Evan Wheat makes sure of it. He's been around the Lexington culinary scene for a while now and has had some interesting experiences along the way. I did a stint at Bellini's, Gene Ferris Winery. I was a personal chef to Anita Madden for a little while. I got to cook for Jamie Foxx and uh, Billy Ray Cyrus, Steve Zahn. And now, He's cooking for us and revealing the secrets to one of Shorty's most popular paninis. This is buffalo chicken. It's a uh, chicken that's been roasted with uh, buffalo type spices. It's very nice. He piles that on top of ciabatta bread, made fresh right across the street at Sunrise Bakery. Get some more boar's head mozzarella cheese there. A little bit of our uh, house-made blue cheese spread that we have. It's a uh, mayonnaise base with blue cheese crumbles, a little bit of uh, paprika. Pete's hot sauce, Texas Pete's, and uh, some black pepper. Next comes fresh organic spinach leaves. And some shredded carrot. And then onto the panini press for about five minutes. And it goes into our super fancy panini press. And that is one fine sandwich. That's a buffalo chicken panini from Shorty's. Short Street. And there's a lot more than just sandwiches at the deli counter. When it comes to meat and seafood, you'll find some of the best in town right here. We've got fresh, dry-packed diver scallops, head-on shrimp. These oysters were caught yesterday in Washington State, and they are delightful. It's a great place to come and grab a steak, a loaf of bread, a side, or something that's already prepared that you don't have to cook at all and just take it home and warm it up. So we're really catering to the people that want to get nicer food to cook at home. It doesn't get any nicer than this. Chateaubriand with hollandaise and bordelaise, along with the easy ways to make it at home. Whoa. That is rich mm -hmm. and delicious. More secrets of Bluegrass Chefs at Shorty's, the urban market, coming up. Tim Laird with more secrets of Bluegrass Chefs. This time we're in downtown Lexington at a unique place, Shorty's. Shorty's is an urban market stocked with everything a bigger grocery store would have but it's right in the heart of the city. This is a New York style market. It's small, but full of everything you need from household staples and the finest produce you'll find anywhere. It's also a gourmet deli where you can get wonderful made from scratch sandwiches or a high-end dinner to take home. You'll find more than food here at Shorty's. In Shorty's cellar, you'll find over 200 selections of wines and even spirits. And here's a little secret. This is where some of Lexington's top chefs shop. All right, I'm back here in the kitchen at Shorty's, the urban market, and I'm here with Chef Jonathan. All I gotta do is step right next door <laughs> and grab what I need. It's, it's, pretty, it's pretty amazing. It's, it's, a nice, it's a nice feature to have. That makes it convenient. It does. <laughs> shop with the chefs. Right, exactly, exactly. See, when we show you the secrets, now you know where to shop for those ingredients if you want to try to make it at home. Why not give this a try? Chateau Briand with Hollandaise and Bordelaise. You could do it all yourself when you learn the secrets from Chef Jonathan Henderson. This is actually the center cut from the tenderloin of beef. This is basically what the filet mignon is cut from, is from the center of a tenderloin. A true filet mignon is cut from the center. So we got a little seasoning here that we're going to season up. We're going to coat it down real nice. And I'm sure this is a fun seasoning I can get here. So that's well seasoned all the way around. It's, it's well seasoned all the way around. And now, it's time to sear it. And there are some secrets to doing it right. The secrets to searing the tenderloin is basically a very hot pan, minimal oil. And we're gonna put it in a slow oven, roughly about 350, 325 around there, and we're gonna roast it nice and slow until it gets the temperature we want. So secret is, a little bit of oil, sear it, lock in all those flavors. Very nice, hot, cast iron, flat skillet here. So we're just gonna do a little oil on here. That's the smoke signals that say, That's I'm right. ready. And we're just going to lay this right on there, just like that. Good little sizzle. And then after we get it on there, we want to turn it down a little bit because we don't want it to burn. Now, already. See how it's starting to, starting to sear up already. We're going to lift this up just a little bit to kind of get that oil around there. There we are. And now all we're going to do is just going to take it, and we're going to keep turning it. Just kind of get all the sides.
Another little secret is that the beef will tell you when it's ready to turn. Oh, it will. If it's not ready to turn, it's going to stick. That's a good secret to know. And I'll tell you, I think that's a lot of times people try to turn it early, and then you get that crust that sticks to the bottom of the pan, then you lost it. So now that we're nice and seared, all sides. We're going to transfer seared. it. We're just going to pop it right in the oven. Low and slow, that's the key. And then for how long? Uh, we'll do it for about 20 to 25 minutes, and then we'll check the temperature and see where we want it. We Great. want it about medium rare here, so that's where we're going to go with it. Perfect at medium rare. When the beef is done in the oven, it's important to let it rest so all the juiciness will stay in the meat when you cut it. We'll let it rest roughly for about 10 minutes, and then we'll slice into it. So another big secret is you want to take it off the pan that it was in in the oven, put it on a cutting board, let it rest here, because again, that pan will even uh, cook it even further. That's so, right, that's uh, right. You can go to kybeef.com and actually go to the Kentucky Beef Council website and find out an actual temperatures that'll give you logs and holding temps and different cuts of beef. That's a great resource to have, I'm telling you. They have all the answers right there. Yes, they do. I like it. The Chateau Briand will be amazing on its own, but even better with this. So we're going to do a four egg hollandaise. So you want to get that on a, on a double boiler? You want to get it on a double boiler and you want to be very, very careful. You just basically want to knock the chill off of it before you go into it. Gotcha. That's something we don't want to do. We don't want to scramble the eggs. So a little uh, clarified butter goes in, right? Right. And by the way, you sell the clarified butter here at the uh, market, right? We do, oh. actually. So we can cheat a little bit. And you can save the step just by coming down here and... Uh, Heating the clarified butter right up and go right into it. It'll save you about an hour. Yeah, that's good if you're having lobster or okay, anything else you need clarified butter for, right? Oh. Correct. Drizzle it in a little bit at a time. All right, I think we're about there. And that's what you're looking for, kind of that more. consistency. Seasoning. Tabasco. Oh, here we go. Another authentic Louisiana yes. product. A little white pepper. We're going to go in with a little parsley. And what we want to do is be able to hold a line on the back of the spoon. So it's not a taste test, it's actually just the spoon test. Right. right. So there we have it. Done. All right, another traditional sauce with your uh, Chateau Briand is the Bordelaise. Now, uh, Chef, you're gonna show us how to make a Bordelaise sauce? I am gonna show you. Have a little garlic, shallots. Then what we wanna do is we're gonna deglaze it. What'd you deglaze that with, uh, Chef? A little, a, little, uh, a little red wine, a little Cabernet. A little Cabernet goes in. And then what we're gonna do is we actually take a demi-glaze that we make in-house here. Okay. We're gonna add that to the pan. And then we're going to reduce that down with the red wine also. Wow. There we are. And then, of course, we're going to finish it off with butter. Our favorite finisher. Our favorite. Our favorite finisher. Here comes the butter. Again, butter. it's going to give it flavor, sheen, all that nice things it does, right? Right. A little parsley. And parsley. Sauce Bordelais. And there it is. Sauce Bordelais. That easy. All right, that's been the longest 10 minutes I've had to wait, but uh, the, the beef is now rested, and we're ready to cut in and see what we've done. Or actually, you've done, Chef. <laughs> right. So we're looking good here. Chef, really that nice. is absolutely perfect. Sauce Bordelaise. Sauce Bordelaise goes on. Oh, look how rich and beautiful that is. We'll finish with the sauce hollandaise here. Here goes the sauce hollandaise. Perfect. And we'll top it with a little parsley. Beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. All right, Chef, these look absolutely fantastic. Pretty as a picture, but I've got a knife and fork, so I'm going in. I'm going to have to just test this out. It looks so wonderful, just so rich. Oh, all that shallot, a little bit of the garlic, and the creaminess and texture. This is downtown Triple Crown, one of the best I've tasted. Awesome, Chef. Congratulations. Thank you. Oh, man. All right, now I gotta match it up with the uh, holidays just to check that out. That clarified butter's coming through. Nice and creaminess, great texture, awesome. Bordelais, hollandaise, these are good days. Now That's you know the, the secrets for at home. That'll do it for this edition of Secrets of Bluegrass Chefs. I'm Tim Laird and we'll see you next time.
Jonathan Henderson, chef of uh, Shorty's Urban Market downtown Lexington, and thanks for watching Secrets of Bluegrass Chefs.